Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we will be presenting the cloud to cloud distance tool within cloud compare software for differencing two 3D entities. Version 2.13.1 is used in this short tutorial. This tool computes the distances between two 3D entities, either point clouds or meshes. In the case of meshes, cloud compare will only compute the distances from its vertices to the reference entity. First, we need to load the two 3D entities and prepare them for comparison. It is essential to have both 3D entities aligned and scaled to each other either in a local, geographic or projected reference system. If not already aligned, you can use the registration tools within Cloud Compare, Point Pairs Picking or ICP Fine Registration, to refine and finish the registration of the two entities. For this tutorial, we will compare two 3D point clouds of a landfill, mapped with a UAV in two different dates, to detect terrain settlements and new deposits for volume calculations. Open the two 3D point clouds you want to compare with the file slash open menu entry or by dragging the files within the main view port. Hit apply all in open loss file prompt. And yes to all in global shift scale prompt. To apply shift values from original to local coordinate system. I will speed up the video while waiting for the clouds to load. Depending on your PC hardware and the cloud's total number of points, loading times may vary from a few seconds to several minutes. In this example both clouds consist of about 70 million points and were loaded in 5 minutes. The two entities are already registered in the same coordinate system using ground control points during the UAV survey, so no further action is needed for aligning. Before initiating the differencing tool, it is a good practice to clip both clouds within the same area of interest to improve calculation time. Pick both clouds, initiate the segment tool and draw a clipping polygon around the area you want to calculate differences. Click segment in and confirm and delete hidden points. Both clouds now share the same clipping limits. You can now compute the distances between the two entities. Select both clouds in the DB tree and click the cloud to cloud distance computation tool. The choose role prompt will appear where you need to define which cloud will act as a reference whereas distances will be computed on the second one, relative to the reference cloud. Use the swap button to confirm your choice and hit OK. Next the cloud to cloud distance computation dialog appears where you can set parameters in general and local modeling tabs. Leave the OCTRE level as is in default value auto. Check split X, Y, and Z components option if you need to project the computed 3D vector distance onto the X, Y, and Z axis. This option is quite useful for analyzing surface differencing along each axis separately. Only consider setting a max distance to a reasonable value as a search threshold, if the maximum distance between the two clouds is very high in which case the tool will need more time to determine the nearest neighbors of the points compared. In most cases there is no need to consider this parameter. The cloud to cloud tool calculates the distance between two point clouds using the nearest neighbor distance method. In this approach, cloud compare identifies the closest point in the reference cloud for each point in the cloud being compared and measures the Euclidean distance between them. This procedure is what typically occurs when the local model parameter is set to its default value, none. In case the reference point cloud is dense enough, the difference between the nearest neighbor distance computed and the true distance could be acceptable. LiDAR and UAV point clouds usually fall into this category. However, when the reference cloud lacks sufficient density or has big holes, the nearest neighbor distance may lack precision. In such cases, a more refined local model of the reference surface may be set to achieve greater accuracy. 
Go to Local Modeling tab and set the least square best fitting plane model for noisy clouds or the 2D and a half triangulation or quadric for cleaner clouds as the local model value. Hit the Compute button to initiate the calculation process. Once distance computation finishes, the compared point cloud will appear in the main viewport, hosting four newly generated scalar fields, one for the nearest neighbor distance and one for each axis. Close the dialog and head to the properties window where you can select the appropriate scalar field and adjust its color scale in the main window. Select the compared point cloud. Pick the active scalar field to display among the nearest neighbor distance or the split X, Y, and Z components. Next, go to Color Scale menu and make your current choice from a variety of color schemes. Also check the visible option for the color scale bar to appear in the main viewport. Next, go to the Scalar Field Display Parameters menu, select the Parameter tab and play with the checkboxes for out of range values visibility and color scale bar display parameters. Alter the Scalar Field's limits to focus on specific differencing values, depending on the dispersion of the resulted distances or to exclude outliers and very high or low values. Thanks a lot for watching this video, we hope you found it helpful. Next Cloud Compare video will focus on the M3C2 plugin for a more robust and signed distances cloud-to-cloud -cloud differencing method.